Hi guys, so this is Aquarium Guy and um, just just taking a break of my studying here as you can see history, got an important desk coming up tomorrow and um, I just wanted to show you how things are going on with my tank uh, as, you can, as you probably know this is a 25 gallon tank, it's been going really good and uh, I haven't been making a video in a while and that's because I haven't had any time uh, and uh, I'll admit I haven't had much patience too as you can see, oh, the black black Ocosimus just went to his spot yeah, that's his spot he loves being there but he came to say hi I don't, I don't know if you guys saw it uh, so as you can see this aquarium is kind of different I got my driftwood right here uh, it's got um, Java moss and uh, Java fern uh, in there. The the roots are not um, in the in the gravel. None of my roots that uh, you know these roots are not in the gravel, and these of the Anubias aren't either. As you can see, the roots are pretty much above the, wa the 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 gravel as you can see that and that is very important why because those plants those kind of plants anubias and java fern they will die if you put um, the roots beneath the gravel I don't know why but I'll search it and I'll google it and I'll let you know as soon as I know it so a little update on the tank as you can see I've got some really nice fish um, the tank's been going uh, really nice. The the this plant, this cigeria, uh has been growing like hell. I've had to cut it off like really often. Uh, so I I got these two little fish. I don't know if you can see the little guy, but this guy he cleans he cleans a lot, and uh, most of my algae just goes away. I had a lot of algae in the beginning of the aquarium, but when I got these two guys, there's the other one, I don't know if you can see them, uh, when I got these two guys, the algae just disappeared. I don't actually know, uh, I don't remember now the, um, the scientific name for this species, but I'll put it in the description, uh, so you guys can look it up, something. Um, again, I'm sorry for my English, I'm not a native speaker, I... I I put it on the the other video's description, but um, a lot of you guys might have not seen it. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys can understand me. Uh, if you don't, just tell me. Leave it on the comments so I don't post any more videos. Uh, okay, next up we got my really nice neons. I love neons. I'll these are really hardy fish. I'll probably put a little. I don't know, five minute fish facts like in Rossi Boy or something like that. Oh, by the way, Rossi Boy is a very good YouTuber. You should go and check his channel. I'll probably put a link about around here, something like that. Uh, so, now I'm going to discuss my, all my fish, uh, basically. I've got, as I told you, I got the neons. I love my neons. Really good fish. But I've also got these guys. And these, I don't know if you can see him. These are really cool guys. I know, I know the name in Portuguese, but I, I don't actually recall it now in English. So I'll just leave it on the description also. Uh, next off, we got my platy. I love this platy. She's a female, and uh, uh, the um, you might not know, but the these kind of fish are not really good to be to be with these fish because neons prefer a lower pH like 6 point they actually are hardy so it won't be bad but I've got this pH for about 6.4 and the platys prefer a more alkaline pH not much but about 7, 7.2 but this little fish, this is a very hardy fish it was actually born uh, in my oldest aquarium the other one I had, uh, it was here, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's not anymore. Um, uh, and the, 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 um, the shark. This is like a catfish, 
and it's a really good shark. It will grow. I know it will, but uh, for now I gotta keep him in here, cause I don't got a place to put it. But I'll probably be looking for a place to put this little friendly shark uh, in a while. So next I've got three red cherry shrimp. I don't know if you guys can see it. These are really great shrimp. I love them. I love their color. This is probably I don't know. This is a male. I think because uh, males don't have as much color as females. Females have much more color. Uh, I would show you a female, but I don't actually know where it is right now. I got three of these, and I think two of them are females, and that guy is the male. Uh, so I got also, you might remember this plant. This plant has grown wild. It, it, I don't know if you guys remember, but in the last video, it was like around here, and it has grown, and I've already cut it, and it's grown back, but um, there's there's a little problem with this plant. Uh, the the lower leaves are like stripped off. I don't I don't know what's causing this. It might I don't know I don't know what's causing it, but the plant itself is growing great. I don't know if you guys can see up there. The plant is just growing wild. You see that? That's the new leaves growing. Also, my Valisneria. I got this plant, this beautiful plant. I love it. It's great. And uh, it's got three little babies. I'm going to call it babies. Growing. One, uh, one two, three over there. These guys are going to grow, and they are actually attached to the mother plant. But uh, when they grow, I'm going to disattachment, disattach them, and uh, plant them wherever I want. So uh, I guess that's it. I got I gotta cut this Java moss also. It's grown pretty ugly, but uh, I gotta cut it a little bit. And um, I've also got this Rotala wachili. This is a really nice plant, but um, uh, it was given to me, so it, it can't really be in a aquarium like this because I've only got a T8 of eight, 18 watts um, lamp, uh, but uh, so I can't really have it here because the light isn't enough. Uh, but although I would like because it's a really nice plant and really beautiful. But I, I will like I will look for a place to put it uh, real soon because or else it will die and that that wouldn't be good. Oh, as you can see the the shrimp, it was kind of moving. Yeah, it's moving. I'll I'll also be getting a new cam camera because this one is really not that good. Uh, it was good when I bought it like three or four years ago, but it's not that good uh, in today. So, I'll be getting a new cam, and uh, thanks, hope you subscribe, uh, I know my English isn't good, it's kind of awful, but uh, if you don't understand, well, I'm sorry, I can't do anything, bye.